Okay, so yeah, so I'm Ben Nussel. I'm, uh, I work at Raspberry Pi Foundation based in the, uh, Cambridge in the UK. I work as community manager. Uh, as Jen said, I write for opensource.com, which is a great way to uh, kind of get out there what we're, what we're up to and what's going on in the Pi world. Uh, I, I also created a project called GPIO Zero and, uh, and something called Pi Wheels. So, uh, although the Raspberry Pi Foundation was uh, founded in uh, 2008, the first product that, that came out was, uh, was launched in 2012. Uh, on, uh, on day one, uh, 1, 100,000 units were, were sold, uh, but only 10,000 units existed at that point. So over the next few months, um, we, uh, we worked hard to, uh, to, to get all that manufacturing done and fulfill all those uh, shipments. And by the, uh, towards the end of the year, you got to a point where you could uh, reliably just buy one and receive it next day. And around this time, a lot of community stuff started happening around Raspberry Pi. Uh, so um, people set up something called Raspberry Jams, which are community meetups to learn about Raspberry Pi. And they're generally open to all ages. So parents can take their kids along. Uh, you know, a retired electronics hobbyists would go along and learn about uh, start learning about electronics and Raspberry Pi again, uh, and, pro and learning programming skills and that kind of thing. People, a group of people set up a community unofficial magazine called the Magpie, uh, and there'll be more on that later. And also lots of people started making their own add-on boards and cases and all sorts of accessories for the Pi. Uh, some of those uh, actually became full-on full businesses that are still running today, uh, making, making um, accessories for the Pi and selling them. Uh, so 2013, um, we moved manufacturing uh, of the Raspberry Pi from China to the UK, uh, which was a great, great achievement. Um, did a few minor board revisions, nothing major, and uh, we actually sold a, a million units in the first year. And by the end of this year, there were about two million units sold. Uh, the foundation started hiring people, like uh, that guy there, that's me. Um, and we started uh, in 2014. Uh, we launched a new website where we had uh, learning resources, official documentation. Uh, we launched a teacher training program called Pi Academy, um, where we train teachers and, and uh, get them inspired about learning uh, physical computing and electronics using open source software. Uh, we also did a few uh, board revisions. So the, uh, the Raspberry Pi A, A plus and the B plus came out. They were the new form factor. Um, released, uh, the, the B plus was the release at the same price as the previous product, $35. Uh, the A-plus came out at $20. We also launched an, in, an industrial compute module for industrial customers to embed the Pi into their products. Uh, 2015, we launched the Pi 2, a whole new generation of Raspberry Pi uh, in the same form factor as the B-plus and fully backwards comp compatible at the same price of $35. We added a quad core and made it, uh, gave, it, gave it a gigabyte of RAM. Uh, the Magpi, the magazine that I mentioned earlier, became an official publication of Raspberry Pi, uh, and we put it in the shops. You can now buy it, but it was uh, as it was before. You can you can access free downloads of the magazine, and that's still going today. Uh, we hired our first uh, person in the U.S., uh, Matt Richardson. We merged with Code Club, uh, a group to, uh, the, of volunteer-led clubs around the world for teaching kids coding skills. Nothing specific to the Raspberry Pi, but we joined up with them to help them uh, sustain the, those clubs. We sent two Raspberry Pis to the International Space Station at the end of 2015. Uh, they're running uh, code written by kids, science experiments written in Python. Um, and we also launched the Pi Zero, uh, a $5 variant of the Raspberry Pi. In 2016, we launched uh, our Pi Academy program in the US, so training American teachers. We launched uh, the Raspberry Pi desktop, a new a new nice-looking uh, skin for the Raspberry Pi, lightweight desktop theme. And we also launched, it, launched that uh, for x86, so you can, launch it, uh, you can run that operating system on your PC the same way you run it on, uh, on your Pi. We launched the Pi 3, which, became, uh, which is our kind of, uh, the, main, the main generation of, of Raspberry Pi today. And in 2017, we, uh, we launched the, the Raspberry Pi 3 B+, which is a, a revision on that. We launched two new magazines, Hello World for a... Uh, um, for a, a magazine for educators, a hack space, and ma magazine for modern makers. We merged with Coda Dojo, who do after school, uh, out of school uh, clubs as well. We launched a new project site and launched officially launched Raspberry Pi Foundation in North America. Sorry, I said Raspberry Pi B Plus was 2017, but it was 2018. We launched the um, the PoE hat, Power of Ethernet uh, board for the Pi, and we did we celebrated our uh, sixth birthday with the Raspberry Pi Big Birthday Weekend. We launched uh, a Scout badge, the Digital Maker badge in the UK. 
And coming up in 20, 2019, just to finish off, Raspberry Pi's seventh birthday is uh, going to be celebrated in March around the world. And we have an event called Coolest Projects, where, uh, which is a technology fair for young people to demonstrate their projects. Thank you.